Is it time to buy or sell this SPY ETF? In this video, we will explore the SPY ETF in depth. Our initial report was published on our website on Tuesday, the 8th of October, 2024. Now, we are here to provide you with an even more comprehensive analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay informed about our latest analysis. You do not want to miss any crucial updates that could affect your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Harness the capabilities of AI and receive free price predictions and detailed analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please be aware that this video is intended for informational purposes only and should not be construed as financial advice. As of October 3rd, 2024, our system has categorized SPY as a hold or accumulate, assigning it a score of 0 0.97. Now let's examine the stock's performance during this time frame. The stock has undergone natural fluctuations, resulting in a gain of 0.94%. This equates to an average return of 0.4% per day since it was designated as hold or accumulate. The exchange traded fund is positioned in the upper part of a weak rising trend in the short term. This situation typically presents a favorable selling opportunity for short term traders, as a reaction towards the lower part of the trend is anticipated. If the price breaks above the upper trend line at $576.21, it will indicate a stronger rate of increase. The current three month trend indicates a potential change of 4.54% over the next three months, with a possible return ranging from negative 2.43% to positive 5.09%. Regarding the 12-month trend, it suggests a change of 31.78% over the next year, with potential returns between 24.71% and 33.12%. This translates to a price range of $714.81 to $762.98 after one year. Our latest daily update for SPY features the headline, SPY ETF price ended at $573.17 on Tuesday after gaining 0.95%. On the last trading day, which was Tuesday, the 8th of October, 2024, the SPY ETF price increased by 0.95%, moving from $567.80 to $573.17. Throughout that day, the ETF fluctuated by 0.746%, with a low of $569.53 and a high of $573.78. The price has experienced both upward and downward movements during this period, resulting in a gain of 0.33% over the last two weeks. Trading volume decreased on the last day by 7 million shares, with a total of 35 million shares exchanged, amounting to approximately $19,920,000,000. It's essential to note that declining volume amidst rising prices can indicate divergence, possibly signaling changes in the upcoming days. Looking at the past 52 weeks, the highest price of the ETF was $574.71, while the lowest price was $409.21. Currently, the price sits at 0.27%, or $1.54, below the 52-week high of $574.71 which is also the all-time high for the ETF. Recent developments indicate a significant trajectory for SPY, the SPDR S&P 500 ETF trust in both the short and long term. The latest employment report revealed that 254,000 jobs were added in September, far exceeding expectations. This could signal strength in the labor market and thus bolster investor confidence. A robust job market often leads to increased consumer spending, potentially fueling further economic expansion. Additionally, the ongoing debate about recession risks appears to be shifting, as some experts highlight a delay in the full impact of pandemic-era savings on economic activity. 
This could positively influence market sentiments, allowing investors to reassess their positions and possibly steer funds towards SPY as a preferred investment vehicle, especially amid a mixed economic outlook. George Soros's significant stock bets garner attention, reinforcing the perspective that influential market players are positioning themselves strategically, which could drive interest in SPY. The discussion around high-yield investments in defensive sectors suggests that investors are seeking balanced portfolios, and SPY could be a central component of that strategy. Moreover, SPY's performance in September, with a gain of 2.1%, portrays a favorable outlook as it continues to navigate market dynamics. The upcoming Federal Reserve's gradual rate-cutting approach may also support equity prices, making SPY a compelling option for both growth and income-oriented investors. In conclusion, the combination of job growth, an evolving economic outlook, and strategic investment insights from prominent figures positions SPY well for continued interest and potential price gains in the near future. The following signals have been identified for SPY. The SPY ETF displays buy signals from both short and long-term moving averages, which indicates a positive outlook for the stock. Additionally, there is a general buy signal stemming from the relationship between these two averages, as the short-term average sits above the long-term average. In the event of a downward correction, there will be some support at $570.46 and $562.25. A drop below either of these levels will trigger sell signals. Furthermore, a buy signal is evident from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, or MACD. Notably, volume decreased during the last trading day, even as prices rose. This creates a divergence between volume and price, which may serve as an early warning. It is advisable to monitor the ETF closely. Some negative signals have also emerged, which could impact short-term developments. A sell signal was generated from a pivot top point on Monday, September 30, 2024, and so far, it has declined by 0.12%. Further declines are suggested until a new bottom pivot is established. Here are some additional signals that may pique your interest. Moving average convergence divergence indicates a buy signal. Pivots show a sell signal from seven days ago. Bollinger Bands suggested a buy signal 14 days ago. The short-term moving average has indicated a buy signal from four days ago. The long-term moving average signaled a buy opportunity from 22 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages suggested a buy signal 36 days ago. When we examine the 12-month chart, we observe the short moving average indicated a buy signal 21 days ago. The long-term moving average suggested a buy signal 44 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages pointed to a buy signal 218 days ago. For more signals, be sure to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Support risk and stop loss for SPY. On the downside, the ETF finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $543.01 and $532.90. There is a natural risk involved when an ETF is testing a support level since if this level is broken, the ETF may then fall to the next support level. In this case, SBY finds support just below today's level at $543.01. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $532.90 and $517.38. Generally, the ETF tends to exhibit very controlled movements, and with good liquidity, the risk is considered quite low for this stock. During the last day, the ETF moved $4.25 between high and low, or 0.746%. Over the last week, the ETF has had a daily average volatility of 0.84%. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for SPY. In the event of an upward trend, the first resistance level for SPY is at $573.86. If you do not currently own any shares, it may be wise to wait for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, 
this could serve as a consideration for swing trading. On the downside, SPY encounters its first support level at $543.01. If this support level remains intact, it could present a favorable entry point, anticipating a rebound. Our recommended stop loss is set at $554.41, reflecting a decrease of 3.27%. This exchange-traded fund exhibits low daily fluctuations, contributing to a reduced level of risk. Additionally, there is a sell signal that emerged from a pivot top identified six days ago. Is the SPY ETF a good investment option? The SPY ETF displays several favorable indicators. However, we do not consider these sufficient for a buying decision at this time. Presently, it should be viewed as a hold or accumulate candidate while we await further developments. Upon reviewing the volatility and movements from the last trading day, our analysis indicates that the current price appears to be overvalued. Looking ahead to trading on Wednesday, the 9th of October, we anticipate that SPY will open down by $1.01, starting trading at $572.16. We remind you that trading involves a significant risk of losing money and it is advisable to consult with a financial advisor before making any decisions related to buying or selling securities. It is important not to base your investment decisions solely on stockinvest.us. By utilizing this information, you acknowledge and accept responsibility for your own investment choices. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. What is your target for the exchange traded fund? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a beautiful day from all of us here at Stock Invest.